Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn, and welcome again to another mod roundup for Fallout 4. We focus on settlement building mods and others, but primarily on settlement building mods. First on our list today is Do It Your Shelf Clutter for Shelves and Bookcases by Dinosaurs. Do It Your Shelf allows you to put down these tall bookshelves and then fill them with all sorts of pre-made goodies and doodads ranging from food to bottled drinks to kitchen utensils to boxes to crates to all sorts of stuff, even plates and cups and forks and knives and everything like that. The way it works is you open up the workshop and you get these shelving units that are called Dino Shelf and they actually snap to each other. Then you can go through and choose the shelf doodad that you want. So here's some teddy bears. Here's books and toys. Let's see, this is tools. Here's just some random stuff. There's some paint cans, kitchen utensils, more kitchen utensils, more paint and office and kitchen and workshop stuff, boxed foods and all sorts of stuff. What an excellent mod. It gives you the, the option to really make each of your living spaces completely unique. It's not like you have a pre-made shelf that is going to be static and look the same for every single settlement, uh, which is what you get with many other mods, but you can, you can mix and match them to make them look any way that you want. It's got very reasonable crafting components and it really adds another layer of excellent um, immersion, for lack of a better term, to your settlement builds. So thank you very much, Dinosaurs. Next on the list is Crafting Goodies by Evan Pox. Crafting Goodies, Goodies comes out with a whole bunch of new stuff, including this working kitchen stove. It's basically a reskin of the existing kitchen stove that you have. It's got a recipe book on there, some cooking oil, and some stuff. It is uh, usable. You can use it just like any other working stove. The only drawback to it is that uh, when settlers come by and use it, their feet kind of hang 10 feet off of the air. And in order to fix that, you've got to use some sort of precise movement rotating tool to kind of push it into the earth so that they stand evenly. But one of the reasons I'm excited about this mod, and honestly the primary reason that I installed it, is because of this stocked refrigerator. That's right, this refrigerator actually comes with goodies on the inside of it so that it looks like the refrigerator is working and that it's stocked with food. Now it's not really stocked with food. If you open it up to transfer things, you certainly can use it like a container. You can use it like the regular refrigerator that's in the game. Um, <clears throat> and the items that are in it that you see in it, you can't loot. But uh, it's a great cosmetic feature. His mod also comes with these pre-stocked shelves, which he says are good for chemistry stations. I think they would be good for a workshop. And then his uh, mod also came with this chase, this chase lounge chair, which until now you couldn't build. And um, the normal sit animation is kind of weird, so he created his own sit animation, which looks like this. That's right, your character and settlers will actually use this lounge chair. Uh, the way the lounge chair, the, the way the uh, the chase was designed to be used with by, uh, by leaning on it appropriately. So it even comes with the correct animation. So thank you for that, Evan Pox, a great mod overall. Next on the list is Wash Your Dishes by Axe Taylor. And what it does is it opens up a new sink uh, that you find in the workshop section of your crafting menu and it's called the dishwashing sink. And what you can do is you can go to craft and you can uh, craft clean red plates, clean white plates, and yellow trimmed plates. These are clean versions of the yellow trimmed plate. To create it, you, you need a dirty plate, um, uh, which in the game is just called the uh, red plate and the white plate and the yellow plate, you need soap and you need purified water. If you have all three of those things in your inventory or your workshop, you can create your own clean red plate, clean white plate, and yellow trimmed plate. Now, uh, you can definitely use this for an added layer of immersion, but I like using it just because it's a great set decoration. You find these sort of uh, utilitarian sinks throughout the wasteland, but until now you haven't been able to build them. And uh, the mod author has said that he's going to be updating his mod with a bunch of other different sink models 
as uh, as they come out and as he finds them in Fallout 4. So uh, we look forward to future updates from him on that. And uh, until then, it's an excellent usable little mod. It's called Wash Your Dishes by Acte Lorth, and I just love it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, another mod roundup by your neighborhood friendly ox Oxhorn. I hope this was useful. I hope it inspired you. I hope you have some ideas for decorating your own settlements with these wonderful mods. And thank you to all of the mod authors who have worked so hard on creating great mods to make our gameplay even better. Be sure to subscribe for more mod roundups, for more efficiency settlement builds, and for more awesome Fallout 4 and Far Harbor content. Thanks so much for watching.